Hello, welcome to Buying on a Budget. My name is Fai. Today I'm going to do a review on the Rode Smart Lab Plus, which I've been using for more than two and a half years. And I think it is a very good mic. And right now I'm only using the onboard mic on my new Mix Stream 9 to show you how much of an improvement that would give you. And right now I am using the Smart Lab from here that is clipped on my shirt which is pretty good and I think it actually kind of in me uh, the echo sound in this uh, stair I'm going upstairs to show you more about the review the reason why I like this mic I mean why I bought this uh, one reason is because it actually can provide you a lot of versatility for example this I'm using on my camera directly right now but you will need a road SCT uh, converter because it's a TRLS versus TRS and it just works. I think there would be some cheaper alternative, but this thing is from them and I think might as well buy what is coming from them. And right now I'm going to the rooftop and I think the sound will be kind of improved a lot since it's not as echoey uh, as the stair. So as I mentioned, this is actually pretty good because it can be used uh, in your camera directly with a converter. And in the beginning of your YouTube career, you might only use your phone and this one can plug into your phone directly as well to film video and I use it on my other channel uh, before and they are pretty good quality in my opinion. I think this is a more nice looking background and I come to here is this very cold and wake my mind up to do you a proper review as I mentioned before this is really very good because it can use on your mobile phone and it also can cooperate with your camera without the converter but you use it with the road app and use it to as a recorder so it actually can becomes a wireless uh, lovelier mic and I think it is very good because and consider I have my road link which is like 300 more than 300 US dollars and it's very expensive and this one can do that with you for just a fraction of the price 60 or 50 US dollars not fraction but still cheaper than that and it's very versatile and why use the laugh mic because it is very uh, convenient and easy to use you just plug that in and right now I'm having my lighting on the camera the Koshi horseshoe uh, mount and if I use a shotgun mic I cannot use that I have no place for my uh, lighting and right now I'm just having this you know little uh, cable and easy for vlogging easy for talking and in some si extreme situation to uh, adjust the noise to source ratio you can just put your little mic closer to your mouth and I, I think in some more extreme situation I will put some clips and they still works fine and pick up your sauce nicely today we bring ourselves to this Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau bridge I'm not sure what does it mean to us it just opened and I don't know I'm not sure we just come around and come to here but 100% sure one thing that is this lens 25 millimeter f1.7 lens from Lumix is a good purchase and today I'm going to show you five reasons why wow as the uh, shotgun mic would not do as good of a job because shotgun mic is designed to be more sensitive to capture more sound so uh, if you're just talking I think lavalier mic is definitely a pretty good uh, gears for you to use also why buy this instead of using your own broad mic because this thing can have a little dead head which actually eliminate the wind noise right now i having a little bit wind blowing on this but i don't think it will capture any row as the onboard mic will give you that so if you're experiencing some uh wind noise then buy a mic and then put a windscreen you, you cannot put a windscreen on your camera right i don't think so 
Even still today, I have multiple microphone. I have a rolling, road video micro. I have some dynamic mic XLR, uh, some condenser mic. I still have been using this mic most of the time. Why? Right? Because you only have to put a little space like this little bag and then you can have a clean audio from my new machine I but by the way you have to have a pretty good preamp on your camera because I've tried this on the Olympus the Nikon uh, the Canon they work fine but the sound just not as great as the Panasonic or the Sony or just your phone directly uh, because their PM is different uh, and if, if you put on the iPhone or Android they have an app which is pretty good uh, for capturing the sound as well and this little bag is really small sometimes I just want to go out and I don't want to bring so much I don't like to bring a backpack I just want a camera and me and this little bag I just put in my pocket works fine and I can do a little vlog like this perfect setup and um, it would it work fine as well and the, the distance is kind of okay right yeah. so the audio quality you can uh, hear it by yourself I think it sounds excellent I'm not gonna do any post-processing uh, but only normalization I think and that's it pretty much I will review other equipment as well and some do more tutorial and see you next time if you find this video helpful go ahead and subscribe I will do the road link and video micro review in the future but this one really you just need this and maybe some even cheaper alternative some I heard some good words from the Boyer uh, lavalier mic and I think they will do you a good job as well. You just need a proper mic because you, you need to get really close to your uh, sound source with your mic to get a good quality sound. If you have a good mic and then you just go very, very backward, no matter how good is your mic, the quality sucks. And I think Lavalier mic can uh, give you the distance very close and you would like that so that's it really bye bye